Signs you need healthier personal boundaries. You have boundaries, but they don't seem to be working. You still feel like people are taking unfair advantage of you. Your self-esteem is taking constant hits and the criticism is unending. What gives? Chances are you need to take a hard look at your boundaries. Perhaps the ones that used to work don't anymore because you aren't the same person. Or it's time for a tune-up so that you can not only strengthen the boundaries you have, but make them healthier at the same time. What are some warning signs that your boundaries need work? When someone bullies you and you stay silent. You agree to things you don't agree with, such as political opinions, to avoid rocking the boat. You suffer from guilt anytime you do something for you. You feel invisible. You constantly say, yes, even when you want to say, no, when people ask you to do things. You're the one who does all the giving in your relationships. You give people your time who don't deserve it. When someone is in your personal space, you don't say anything, despite how uncomfortable you feel. You don't speak up when the joke isn't funny, and it's at your expense. People bully you, but you do nothing about it. You're always playing the victim. People take you for granted. You worry all the time about what people think of you. When someone tells you to do something for yourself, you have no idea what to do. You overshare when talking to others about yourself. You take on other people's guilt as though that will absolve them somehow. You're in a career that was chosen for you, rather than in one that you want to do, such as working in a family business you had no desire to be part of. You don't speak up when someone touches you physically even though you don't want to be touched. You wind up in relationships with controlling individuals. You see yourself as the sacrifice. You feel like people won't like you if you don't do things for them. You use actions as currency with people by doing things in hopes that they will someday do something for you in return. That day never comes, does it? You tend to manipulate people to get your needs met. Reading this list is making you uncomfortable because you've already recognized more than one thing on it that sounds like you. It's a daunting list. The good news is, there is room for you to change. Remember, boundaries are always a good idea. Making sure that the boundaries are healthy is crucial to your development into the individual you've always been meant to become. By checking your boundaries periodically, you will likely see places that need work. But you'll also see where you can do things to keep them strong and healthy enough to serve you going forward. It might seem like a lot of effort on your part, but in the end, don't you think you're worth it? With that in mind, it's time to get down to work. You've got this. Please comment, like, and subscribe to our network. It could help someone. Thank you, love, and light a sense of awe. How to handle a bully. It'd be nice to think that once you're out of school, you'd be done with bullies for the rest of your life. Unfortunately, that can be far from the truth, as anyone who's ever had a bullying boss, coworker, or friend can attest. We all know what bullying looks like as a kid, name-calling, pushing, meanness, just to name a few. But how do you know that someone is an adult bully? Often, in the name of security and keeping the peace, we may let bullying just roll off our back. But if someone you know is a bully, they may take subtle actions such as ignoring you. This is a form of disrespect and aims to control you by keeping you guessing and never knowing. You make a request or ask a question and don't get a response. Being late or not showing up at all, again, this is another form of disrespect, but it can sometimes have more serious consequences, such as missing an important appointment or being late for a meeting. Starting rumors, the bully that starts untrue rumors is seeking to sabotage you and your reputation. Seeing you react or overreact to hearing lies told about yourself is what they thrive on. Passive aggressive behavior, backwards compliments, deliberate procrastination, having to have the last word. These are all examples of passive aggressive behavior that a bully might exhibit. These are only a few examples of how a bully might act as an adult to control a situation. How you handle each situation is the key to taking away the bully's power. First and foremost, if you find yourself being bullied a lot as an adult, take a close look at whether you're playing the victim. Due to your upbringing, you may not even realize that you're doing it, but often, a bully will instinctively aim for the person who already has a victim mentality. If that's you, you'll need to learn to stand up for yourself and become more assertive in the face of the bully. If all else fails, simply separate yourself from the bully. This may be more difficult to accomplish in a work situation, but be creative and try to create space between you and the bully. The less you are around them, the less harm they can do. 
Also, try to remember that most bullies end up that way because of low self-esteem and a fragile sense of self-worth. By asserting yourself, you take away the bully's power and maybe, just maybe, you'll show them that they don't have to be that way. Love and light, please comment, like and share as this may help someone. Thank you. Discover the transformative potential of inspirational rituals and harness the power of habit. These rituals have the incredible ability to infuse our lives with purpose and meaning, creating a profound impact on our personal growth and overall well-being. By incorporating positive habits into our daily routines, we can unlock a world of endless possibilities and achieve the success we desire, embracing inspirational Rituals empowers us to overcome obstacles, ignite our creativity, and cultivate a deep sense of fulfillment. Let the power of habit guide you towards a life of excellence, where every action is purposeful and every moment is extraordinary.